Hello and welcome to my video all about how to sew this easy pumpkin pillow. These make great cozy decor for Halloween and you don't even need to print out a template. I'll be showing you how to make the template from scratch. In order to follow along, you're going to need some fabric. I chose to use lightweight woven cotton and I used five different fabrics. Obviously you can choose whatever colors and patterns you like. You don't have to use the variety of fabrics that I did. You'll also need some stuffing. I used polyester toy stuffing, a pair of scissors, a ruler, some paper, a pen or pencil, a disappearing or magic fabric pen, some green felt and some glue for making the stalk, a sewing machine and matching thread, a hand sewing needle and some sewing pins. Okay, so the first step is to make the template. I started with a piece of paper measuring 11 by 21 centimeters which is about four and a quarter by eight and a quarter inches. This size of template made a finished pumpkin that measured 12 by 24 centimeters. You'll need to fold the rectangle in half. With the fold along the bottom edge, draw a straight line two and a half centimeters from the right hand edge. Then draw a curved line, which starts at the fold, travels a couple of centimeters up the vertical line and then gently curves towards the top right corner. Then you need to draw another curve. This time it needs to go from the fold along the left hand edge for at least one centimeter and then gently curve to the top right corner. Cut along these lines, cutting through both layers of paper. You'll then have your template. You then need to use this template to cut out the first two fabric pieces. I'm using five different fabrics for my pumpkin and I'll be cutting two pieces out of each one. So that's 10 fabric pieces in total. So first draw around your template onto the back of your fabric using your fabric pen. Then add your seam allowance around the outside and draw another line. My chosen seam allowance for this project is one centimeter, but you could use half an inch or another similar amount instead if you prefer. Then cut out this shape and use it to cut out a matching piece in the same fabric. Because this template is symmetrical across the center, we don't need to worry about it, but these two pieces need to be mirror images of each other. Note that if you like to follow a guideline when sewing, feel free to add in the line a seam allowance distance from the edge of this piece if you wish. You then need to sew these two pieces together to make the first segment of the pumpkin. So line up the two pieces of fabric right sides together and pin along the outer curved edge. If the fabric edges aren't meeting exactly, just use your scissors to neaten them up removing as little fabric as possible. You want both pieces to be identical and the curves to be nice and smooth because we'll be using this fabric as a template later on. Then sew along this edge, back stitching at the beginning and end and trying not to sew over your pins. I used a two and a half millimeter straight stitch. And that's it, one segment of the pumpkin completed. You then need to repeat these steps to make the other four segments. To do this, I would recommend using the fabric pieces that you've just sewn together as the template in order to save you time. So once you've cut out the other eight fabric pieces, pin each pair together and sew along the outer curved edges. You'll then have all five segments of the pumpkin. The next step is to sew these segments together, starting with the first two. So to do this, turn one segment right side out and place it inside another segment. This means that the right sides of the fabric are facing each other. Please note that if, like me, you're using different fabrics, plan what order you want them to be sewn together in and keep that in mind during these sewing steps. Then pin these two segments together along one edge, 
on one side only. Then sew along this pinned edge. Make sure that you're only sewing through two layers of fabric and remember to backstitch at the beginning and end. You then just need to repeat the same thing to join all five segments together. So first turn the already sewn segments right side out. Then put one of these segments inside another unattached segment. These should be right sides together. Then pin along one edge on one side. So you're pinning through two layers of unsewn fabric. Line up these edges as best as you can. And then sew along this edge. So now we have three segments sewn together. Make sure all segments are right sides out and then repeat the same steps to add the fourth segment and then the fifth. So put one of the already attached segments inside an unattached segment, right sides together. Then pin along one edge on one side. And then sew along that edge. And then repeat. So make sure all the segments are right side out. And then put an already attached segment inside an unattached segment, right sides together. Pin along one edge on one side. And then sew along this edge. And finally, you need to pin and sew the last remaining seam that sits between the first and fifth segments, making sure that you leave a gap in this seam that's large enough to put stuffing through. You then need to turn the pumpkin right side out before adding the stuffing. Make sure to stuff all of the segments individually first until firm and then stuff the centre. You want to make the stuffing firm enough to try and get rid of the wrinkles in the seams. And then to finish, you need to sew up the gap in the seam by hand using the invisible stitch. Before you do this though, make sure you fold in the raw fabric edges. I have a separate video all about the invisible stitch, but the basic concept is to do a short stitch on one side of the seam that's parallel to the seam, and then cross over to the other side of the seam and do the same thing. And you just repeat this along the seam and it creates a kind of ladder of thread. And then every inch or so you need to pull on the thread parallel to the seam and that will close up the seam. And once you've sewn up the seam, you need to secure the end of the thread and cut off the excess. To make the stalk, I just cut out a long rectangle of green felt that was three centimeters wide. I then added some glue and rolled it up. I also added a circle of felt on top and I also glued a leaf shape to the side. You can then sew or glue the stalk to the top of the pumpkin to finish. Or if you decide to leave off the stalk altogether, you could just make a fun star shaped pillow instead. And that's it, that's the pillow complete. I really hope you enjoyed this project and thank you very much for watching.